Uma Free comes to the crease. It's an impressive strike rate, 153. So here you spoke about him getting three overs. He's got close to seven now. That's right, Afridi just arrived. You've seen this many times before. Everyone's excited about it, I'm sure, apart from the guys that are bowling to him. I mean, he's got some serious work to do right now. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you can't predict uh, what, what's going on in his mind. Top of the order, too. Jai Surya. Goes the leg. Shuffles across, trying to find the gap, but finds the fielder. Gap finding. Oh, that's fine. Not too far away from those gloves, but it's a boundary. Brings up the 100. That's what I need. Boundaries. Afridi's got it. Boundaries here to give him any chance whatsoever. That's my call. Yeah, it is. A batting with him, though. Shian Jai Surya can bat as well. So this is a crucial partnership for these guys. These guys will score and they'll score quick. Uh, and Shian Jai Surya, a really good player as well. See, one thing, one thing here is he heads on coming in next. There's one on strike now that I'm sure you'll be keen to have. That's gone fine, and that's four. Benuri's bowled really well. His, his, his lengths have been good. The only thing I will say with that is he's kind of telegraphed that now. And, and this one, he just leans back, and we can see him just deflecting it, using the width and the, and the length that he was given to execute that shot. So the question here is how much... There you go. Got that over the top, and that is four. One bounce and a boundary. That is a My 11 Circle champion shot. That was kind of telegraphed if it, it really knew that by the field, by them bringing square leg up into the circle, it, it, he knew that there was going to be a whip. It allowed him to free his arms and hit the ball out over the out of the offside. The field kind of told him exactly where Benura was going to bowl that one. See the good thing about to keep reminding him about I'm that sure one. You, I'm sure you will. Now this uh, may well be caught. Oh, it's not. Now, I think he interfered there. Obviously, there wasn't any calling. Abbott won't be impressed with that. There wasn't any calling down there because... Play really well here. That's gone high. That's what they need. Well, we're talking about the fact that the way to go with our 3D is the short ball. Through that. The way to go is, what they've done though, is is, is you've got to mix it up because the, the, he's telegraphing it and, and Carl Abbott's bent his back there, he, he's put it in. I, I think, and this is not that, that they're a little bit of underdone. Back live now. It's gone again. And he's got himself six more runs. Afridi is turning it on here. Well, well, well. Look at Upul Chandra, he's enjoying it. <laughs> He is enjoying it again. Again, telegraphed. You know, he, he try and get that. Just get your lens. You want to try and get the ball through to Tom Woods at the keeper. That, that that that's not not great bowling. It's not great planning, particularly to guy like Shahid Afridi, who's got himself in now. So there's one ball to hit their straps. The Sri Lankan boys have been training. These guys, we don't know what they've been doing. Change of pace, just uh, slowing that one down a little bit on the bounce. Afridi is going to uh, just take the single. 17 guy, 131 for five. But so the guys are going to keep nice and controlled if they can. That's six runs. That is terrific. This is really good stuff. This is what everyone likes to see. Boom. Younger and younger instead of everybody getting older and older. He's like a re good red wine. But again, wood. And again, that short length, which he's telegraphing now, and he's expecting. It isn't that interesting the way that he played that. Just rocking on that back foot straight away. Strike rate of 222. Full toss this time. He whips that away, and he's picked up six more. That's gone a long way. That is a terrific strike. Well, if you're talking about a 70-yard boundary, that was a good 90 yards. That went a big distance. Yeah, and suddenly that 160 you were talking about, Rashad. Like one, one would say if these two carried on batting, or particularly a Freddy, they could get more. Well, at this rate, we'll get to 165. At 12, we might be looking at around 175, 180.
Jones underneath that one. Has he gone far enough? Yep, six more. That's three sixths in a row. Brings up 50 as well for Afridi. This is outstanding stuff from Afridi. That is an unbelievable knock. The key to his to his batting has he was still he's just nominal batting. Absolutely, we were just talking about how focused and how organized the Jaffna Stallions looked, and Afridi in a matter of few balls have destroyed everything. That's what Boom Boom can do. Arrived and wanted a couple more nets, so that they, they do have some some guys in hand. Smart again. It's gone again. Six more. You, you reckon this guy had enough practice, Afridi? Afridi, he was playing in the in the PSL, so he he would have had some practice leading into this. He's been playing some cricket for Multan Sultans in the in the PSL. How old is he these days? <laughs> How is you, he? you should know. You've been you've been in Pakistan. What was me then? Strike rate of 263.6 for Shahid Bumbul Mafridi. Century on debut. Roshan, that's what you're referring to. Got him this time. A little bit of a tickle outside edge. There's not too many. You know, a couple of words there, I think, from Duan Olafia. If you can lip read, I think that summed it up perfectly. And that's just the frustrations that happen. Uh, that, that The Fair Play Award, not, not, not so sure about that for Jack Stallions. He has got him up. Perfect delivery. I think it had just enough. Standing innings that was. That really was stuff from Afridi. Absolutely magnificent. 58 of 23 deliveries. The Gladiators have got themselves a bit of a chance here now. 155 for six. Afridi was really special.